Hello my friends, Luminar Neo had a new software update. This is a version, let's see, 1.1.1. And this uh, software update mostly fixes some bug fixes, but also we have two very useful new uh, tools, if you will. One of them has to do with layers. I will use this uh, photo as an example. One new thing that we have now in layer is that we can duplicate the background or any layer really. In the past, this was not possible in order to duplicate the background. You had to re-import the image as a layer over here where it says add new layer. Now with your layer selected, you just uh, have the shortcut D and this duplicates our layer. This is very, very useful, especially if you've been following me for a while. You know that I like to add a lot of layers and overlays and I like working with blending modes. For this example, let's say I have this second layer, I can just so easily change the blending mode to multiply. And then with the masking, I'm just gonna make a very rough mask on the sky. And this way I can just bring more drama to the sky. You see this, this is the before, this is the after, before and after. I need even more drama, no problem. D again, and this time it's duplicating the um, second layer and it retains the mask and everything that we did on this layer is just a complete duplicate of it. So if I go to masking and show, you can see it retains the same mask as this layer had. And this just really, really speeds out our editing. Let's say I want to color grade this foreground. Now I can easily go and choose one of these um, overlays that I gave you in uh, my last video. And with this overlay, I'm just going to stretch it to fill over the background, the foreground, I'm sorry. Just change the blending mode to soft light. I will reduce the opacity. And now I can just paint it with a brush really, really easily wherever I want to have more of this color grading. Just gonna make a really, really rough job, something like that. And there you go, this is our image before and after, before and after. Now, the other new thing that comes with this update is the ability to change the brush from paint to erase. Uh, before you had to go over here and click either paint or erase, I always find myself mistaking those or forget to go to the erase when I try to erase. Well, right now you see my uh, cursor has this plus sign, this is the paint. And if I, um, I painted it, I'll paint the mask. And then just clicking X, it changes to the minus sign. And now I can erase when I made a mistake. Again, X, and now it's a plus. I can add to my mask. And then X again, it changes into an erase. And this makes so much much easier when you edit. And you can toggle between these two with just the X command. I am going to show you one more quick example. Just to recap, when we go to edits, now we can duplicate the layer with D. And then we can change the blending mode to whatever we want. I'll do soft light for this. And all of a sudden, our image is popping. It looks more 3D. It's not as flat. This is the before. This is the after. This is the before and after. And layers uh, makes it so much easier. That is it for today. Just a very, very short update. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.